What's an aimbot? All right, two things before the video starts. Number one, I finally made an Instagram, okay? I always, uh, I always get asked about a face reveal and I joke and say, uh, you know, 50 million subs will do whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, no, 100K. 100K, we'll do the face reveal. We're almost there. It'll come a lot faster than everybody thinks. So at 100,000, I'll do the face reveal. I'll be able to post on Instagram a lot. Follow my everyday to day life. You can get to learn, you get to learn Dylan. You know what I mean? You get to learn to know Dylan and not just back off my jank. So I think that'll be pretty cool. So follow me on Instagram if you got one. Um, number two, th this is a big one. This is exciting news. Um, as a lot of you know, any, any content creator that you watch on YouTube gets approached by companies to do sponsorships and brand deals, uh, myself included. Uh, as you know, I have a controller sponsor. That's the only sponsor that I've accepted. I've, been, I've emailed a ton. But a lot of the companies that are emailing me, it's just it's product that I don't believe in. Lots of gambling websites and stuff like that. And I'm like, it doesn't matter how much money they're offering. I just I can't put myself in that in that circle. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to promote gambling knowing that a bunch of kids are gonna be watching my videos and stuff like that. Like it just seems scummy. But I've done my research with this company. They have great reviews all around the board. They've sent me their product. I fell in love with it and I support them 110%. So I'm happy to announce that I will be partnering with Tayrock. What is Tayrock? Tayrock is a watch company. They sell watches online. Very reasonable price, top-notch quality. Over the last 10 years, I've bought three watches. All three are, they're Nixon. I don't know if you're familiar with the brand or not, but they're, it's, it's a nice watch. And I spent three to $400 on all three of these watches. The watch that they sent me is 10 times the quality that I, I can't believe, the, like it's beautiful. And it's a quarter of the price. Like, it is very reasonably priced for the quality of watch you get. And like I said, I've done my research. I wouldn't be promoting these guys if I didn't believe in their product. And I love it. So if you want a watch or you want to gift a watch or a friend or a sibling, your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, uh, whatever the case may be, if anybody in your life is interested or is a watch person, I have a referral link in the description of this video as well as a discount code so you can save yourself some money on the checkout. Now. On top of this, of course I would be making money. That's part of the program. It's a sponsorship thing, right? So I'm making money when you buy a watch. What I'm gonna be doing is every cent that I make from these watches, I'm gonna be putting to the side and that's gonna be the fund for me to start making my own merch. You guys ask all the time about making merch, hats, shirts, whatever it is. There's a ton of different things that I wanna do. Uh, but that costs a lot of money. I don't want to do it the normal way, how everybody just goes through a middleman. Because then the, the price is skyrocket, and you guys are paying an arm and a leg for a shirt. And it's like, that's not fair to you guys at all. So I basically want to stockpile a bunch of my own merch, buy all my own merch, get it done locally so it's way cheaper for you guys. And then when, I, when you guys buy it, I just have it on hand, and I can just send it all out to you guys. There's no middleman whatsoever. Way faster, way better for you guys. That's... That long term, that's what I want to do. So that's the plan with these watches. So if you yourself would like one or if somebody in your life wants a watch, it's it's gonna fund the merch and everything like that. It's I'm looking forward to the future. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've rambled way long enough. This took a little longer than expected. So get right into the video. So I was streaming last week and I had a clip that got put into a ton of those Overwatch highlight videos, and it was kind of taken. Out of context, I was talking about mouse and keyboard on console, and I had a ton of messages about it, and I was just like, man, I don't know, so many people don't understand like the whole mouse and keyboard thing on console, and then I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity to talk about it, seeing as I got so many messages about it from people that don't know who I am, and I was just like, this is irritating, right? Like, it bothered me. So this is my opinion on mouse and keyboard on console. First, I will show you the clip that was featured in these Overwatch highlight channels, okay? Like, am I gonna lose to a platinum mouse and keyboard widow? No. Absolutely not. I could go through top 500 and I could show you almost everybody that I know that uses keyboard and mouse, and there's not that many. Most heroes, and especially in Overwatch, don't require any aim whatsoever. Obi. Okay, there. But most heroes don't require any aim. So if you look at the top 500 list. Yeah, that what happened? <laughs> I blinked and they all died. Uh -huh. So what I was saying in that clip was very simple. If you're keyboarding in Platinum, for an example, just saying, if you're keyboarding in Platinum, you are still a Platinum ranked player. 
You are platinum skill worthy, you know what I mean? A controller player in platinum is equal to a mouse and keyboard platinum player. Uh, if mouse and keyboard was such an advantage at that level, then the mouse and keyboard player would be ranking up. You know what I mean? And I guess it could be argued that if this mouse and keyboard player wasn't using it, then he was using a controller, he would be a lower rank. I get it. It could be argued. Now, I don't believe that you should be using it at all. I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't be using mouse and keyboard. I think it's scummy. But I'm a realist. So it's like, if you're using mouse and keyboard in plat, you're still a plat player. It makes no difference. So what I was saying about the whole top 500 thing is like going through Reddit, like I, I browse the Overwatch Reddit sometimes, the, the console subreddit, and it's like there's so many posts all the time about mouse and keyboard, it just frustrates me because it's like uh, there's really not that many. So I'm going to go through the top 500 list real quick, okay, and I'm going to show you something. If you pay attention to the heroes played, there's not very many people that play Widowmaker. Those of them that do, lots of them do keyboard. I, it, it's well known fact. If you're in the high ranks, you know who keyboards. But just look at the, the top 500 list. There's so many other heroes in top 500. Lots of Tracer, Mercy, Zarya, lots of Reinhardt. There's Moira, Roadhog, Doomfist, like Junkrat, Mercy. Like you're not keyboarding with these heroes. Genji's like I don't know any anybody that keyboards with Genji. I mean I guess it could be done, but it's kind of pointless because you don't need to aim. Like you kind of do, but not really. You can do exactly what you would do with Genji on console. You could do with a you can do with a controller. But like, if you look at the top 500 list, it's not dominated by top by top 500 player or by keyboard players. Sorry, it's like Winston's, Maze, Lucio's. Like you're not keyboarding with these heroes. So I guess the point that I'm trying to make here is that it's like everybody's making such a big deal about keyboard and mouse on console being oh it's broken. Like Blizzard needs to do something. I genuinely don't believe that it is that big of a problem. I don't. Like I said, the skill ceiling on a controller is limited. When you pick up, a, when you plug in a mouse and keyboard, that skill ceiling is higher. You get that little extra bit. That's that's the difference. So that extra little bit is the top 500 players that are actually using keyboard and mouse in top 500, and there isn't very many. And the, like. There's so many other players that are in top 500 using heroes like Winston, like Lucio. Like you saw, lots of Mercy players. Like, are they keyboarding? No. Top 500 is not filled with keyboard players. So after getting all these messages, people are like, "How oh, how do you uh, how do you play against keyboard and mouse? How do you how do you beat them? How do you you know what I mean?" And it's like honestly, you just play the game. Everybody loses. I lose games. Overwatch League players lose games. Like. You can go watch a Pine stream right now. He's not going to win every single game that he plays in, and he's a pro. You know, you're like, you're not going to win every single game. So it's like, it gets to a point where you need to have game sense, game knowledge. You need to have map awareness. There's so much more involved with Overwatch when you're playing, when you're playing the game. So it's like, just because somebody's plugged in a mouse and keyboard doesn't instantly mean that they're going to be the best ever at the game. Those very select few in the top 500, uh, yeah, they're on a different level. They are on a different level. There's not very many of them. So it's like when I'm reading these these Reddit posts and stuff like that and getting these messages and asking like, how do you beat them, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I, I don't know what to tell you, man, because it's really not that bad. It's like, it's like playing in diamond against a smurf that you know is like a GM smurf. <laughs> like... I don't know. You just gotta, you just gotta try to outplay him. Go quad tank or go. I don't know. Just do something different. Like, like I said, I, I, I firmly don't believe that it is that big of a problem. I do believe that there is a problem with it. It shouldn't be allowed in general. But there's no way around it. You know, like if any, like so many people know how it's done. You, you, it's a Zim Four. You plug in a Zim Four, and it basically tricks your PlayStation Four into thinking you're using a controller. That's how it works. Like you. It, Overwatch does not support keyboard and mouse. Like Overwatch, you could just plug in a keyboard and mouse if you wanted. Overwatch does not allow that. That's why Zim 4s are a thing. It basically tricks your console into thinking that you're using a controller. And to me, that's not fair at all. You shouldn't be able to use third-party software in a game that doesn't allow it. So yes, I do believe that it is cheating. Uh, Jeff has made that post that it is cheating. But then, then you get this next topic where it's like, Microsoft is talking about making it natural for or, or making it the norm to have keyboard and mouse functioning on consoles. Like that was actually a thing that Microsoft is talking about. So who knows in the future, maybe it will be the norm. But as of right now, it's not. I don't believe in keyboard and mouse. I do think it is wrong. I do think it is cheating. Do I think it is 
as big a problem as people make it out to be? No, I think there are far worse problems on console than keyboard and mouse. Plain and simple. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys learned a little something. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you What do you think about keyboard and mouse? I I, I would like to know. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.